Okay, the purpose of this video is to discuss a problem uh, assigned to uh, my seminal students, um, and that is um, basically a problem about uh, doing where the, what is to be learned is about doing graphs and about formatting graphs and such. So I assign the problem where I say, um, uh, Pick angles between 0 and 360 degrees at 5 degree increments. Uh, convert the angles in degrees to the angles in radians. And then convert uh, the sine, cosine, and tangent um, of, the, uh, uh, of the angles and then uh, graph the data. So it's pretty straightforward from a mathematical perspective. So let's go over how I've uh, written the program right here. Okay, so here I set a vector. It's going to be degrees. Degrees will take the angles from 0 to 360 in 5 degree increments. So degrees is a vector containing uh, the uh, angles and degrees. Radians is then going to be another vector where I take the elements of degrees, multiply them by pi divided by 180, that's converting all of the degree angles into radians angles. So radian then is a uh, radians is a is now a vector, but it's a vector of angles going from zero to two pi radians in segments and sections in increments of five degrees. So whatever five degrees is in terms of uh, radians. Now one radian is about sixty degrees. So five degrees is about one twelfth of a radian. Okay, now I, then I create three ve three vectors, one called sine x, one called cosine x, the other called tangent x. Well, the elements of sine x are just the sine of all the elements of radians. Cosine x is the cosine of all the elements of radians. And tangent x is the tangent of all the elements of radians. Okay, then I'm going to set up and uh, do the graph and label the graph. So to begin with, uh, uh, though, I, um, I, pro I <clears throat> excuse me, graph, plot the data, present the data into the command window. So I put a label, table, a uh, trig table for Neil Gallagher. Now, when I give the command slash n, uh, what the... Uh, uh, what happens then in the command window is every slash n means it uh, it does a line feed, goes to the next line. So I do three line feeds. Then I uh, type this uh, text, tr trade table for Neil Gallagher, and then I do two more line feeds. All of that is in a single quote. Notice this. Okay, then under that, after the two line feeds here, I print degrees, radians, sine, cosine, tangent, and then another line feed. Okay, then I, uh, so the spacing here I determine basically by trial and error uh, to get the right spacing uh, so that it looked nice. Uh, F print is now, it's going to print out the numbers. It's going to print out um, the angle, the elements of vector degrees next to it, the element of radians, then the sine, cosine, and tangent of whatever the angle is, okay? So under this column degrees, it prints out the numerical angle in degrees, then a numerical angle in radians, then a numerical value for the sine, the cosine, and the tangent are all printed in columns underneath these headings. Okay, so this will get printed out down here when I hit, uh, when I hit run up here. Now, right in here, I generate uh, text for the plots. So I title the, 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 the plot I'm going to make, graph of sine, cosine, and tangent. Notice I, did, I have tangent in lowercase. I probably should make that uppercase to be consistent. So I'll do tangent, and I need to put a space there. And then uh, text sign. So... I use the, uh, I have a single quote, a slash, and then I type left arrow. So that's the tech command to make it 
do an arrow pointing to the left, and then I print sine x, and then a single quote. Then I, uh, I also, I have, uh, I create this variable, text cosine, which is similar, left arrow, and then I print out cosine x, and then text tangent, similarly. Okay, now I generate the plot. Now let's look at this. I put on the x-axis radians, and then I, uh, I'm going to graph this, the, the elements of the sine x vector. So x is the elements of the radian vector, y are the elements of sine x vector. Okay, now I set some variables that control the appearance of the plot. I set the color of the line of, that's getting plotted here to red. I set the line width of the line to be 3. It's a little bit on the thick side, but that's okay. Now I have semicolon, and then I have hold on. What this means is that next time I call plot, it's not going to generate a brand new plot erasing the old plot. It's going to keep whatever has been, been plotted here, and it's going to plot whatever is new right over top of it. So now notice I have x lim. What I'm doing here is defining the limit of the on the left side of the x-axis to the right side of the x-axis. So I'm limiting the f-axis to the range 0 to 2 pi. That's what this is doing. Also limit the, right, the y range from minus 2 to 2. Now notice that when I plot the sine and cosine, the sine and cosine will individually will always range between negative 1 and 1. So I'm putting some space in the plot above the maximum and, and below the minimum value for the sine and the cosine. On the other hand, the tangent can go from negative infinity to plus infinity. So uh, the tangent's going to go off the graph. So I plot now, after up here I plotted um, the sine. Now I'm going to plot the cosine on the same, uh, on the same graph, on the same plot, radians on the x-axis, cosine on the y-axis. The color is going to be blue, line width is still going to be 3, and I'm still telling it to hold on. I'm still going to plot something else on exactly the same graph on the same axes. So then I plot radians tangent x. Color's green, line width is still 3, and I'm still going to hold on there. Now I put a title for the plot. And the title for the plot is going to be graph of sine and cosine and tangent from 0 uh, to 2. And then I put slash pi. That's not 2 divided by pi, but slash pi is the tech command that generates the Greek letter pi. So this will should write 2 pi right here. And then I'm labeling my x-axis, and I'm stating the range on the x-axis will be 0 to 2 pi. Again, 2 slash pi will actually print 2 followed by the Greek letter pi. Y label, the, the Y label on the vertical axis is going to say sine, cosine, and tangent values. Okay, now right down here, I say, I notice what I'm typing. I type text. Okay, so I'm giving the X and Y coordinates of where I want the text to start printing. So I do text, and now I have um, 2.0 comma negative 4.0. Now I'm typing the text, which is text cosine. Text cosine was defined up here, text cosine is this text right here. And then I say color blue. And then so I'm, I'm printing out whatever is up here for text cosine. It's a left arrow cosine x. Then I have here text 1.81. This is the x and y coordinates where I begin to lay out this text. This is text sine, which is also up here, left arrow sine x. I say color red, okay, and then down here at the x coordinate 2 by 2, the y coordinate negative 1.5, I put in text tangent, which is also up here, and I make color green. 
and I choose these x and y coordinates of where to start printing the text on the graph, again, I do that by trial and error. I pick some values in, until it looks good. So you can see most of the work in this exercise is actually to format uh, the plot. So let me run it. So we should print out some things down here, sine, cosine, uh, the angle, degrees, radian, sine, cosine, and tangent. And then after that, we'll actually generate a graph, which shows the graph of the sine, cosine, and tangent. So I hit run. Here are the numbers that get printed out. And here's my graph. So you see red is the sign. It's labeled sign. And there's that left arrow there, if you can possibly see it. Let me try to make this big. There we go, make it bigger. So you see left arrow sine x, blue left arrow cosine x, so graphing that. Maybe I should make this text a little bit larger. And then the green text is tangent x. So it gives me these plots. Here are the y coordinate and the x coordinate. x coordinate goes from 0 up to 2 pi. Y coordinate right in the middle is zero, and it goes from negative two up to plus two as I set it up. Now, if um, I want to, uh, uh, so that leaves a, an open question here that um, I'm going to have to uh, look up, try to figure out, is if I want to make this text bigger, how might I do that? when I do these labels. Sign, okay, X label, Y label, this text right in here. Uh, put, could I put uh, something about um, the font size or whatever and put in a larger font size? So I should be able to do that and I'm going to leave that uh, uh, to you guys to, uh, to see how I possibly could make that font size larger. There might be a hint in my previous video on how to do that. Okay, so that's everything.